This is Han from um, VeganMakeupShop.com. Um, this tutorial is inspired by um, the Sugar Plum Fairies. Um, let me show you a closer look. It's just mostly pink, uh, a couple shades of pink blending together, almost like a cut crease, and with the lids having some silver sparkles for Christmas. Um, uh, this. Uh, and, <laughs> on the 18th, I'm going to take my mom to see the Nutcracker in our hometown, the ballet. Um, I remember when I saw in 5th grade, it was the most amazing thing ever because there were so many colors, it was such a happy story, and, and it was just, it was the Christmas spirit, and that's what I love the most. I'm such a kid when it comes to Christmas, I mean, I love to watch, you know, Mickey Mouse, Christmas version, Beauty and the Beast, Christmas version, everything Christmas related. That's I love Christmas. Uh, even though my family, we don't really celebrate it, but I wish that one day all of my family members can get together to celebrate Christmas. And I really hope you guys will, you know, um, support me in this video because I work really, really hard towards it. I know that the makeup didn't take as long, but it's the preparation for it, you know, I try to do um, something else before, inspired by sugar plums, more with purples and pink. Um, but then when I recorded it, it didn't work out. And then I tried to do greens with, um, you know, the Grinch stole Christmas and didn't work out either. And I, for the first time ever today, I feel like I can actually blend colors. Because I've watched so many YouTube videos for, and I just can't seem to do what the YouTube gurus do. As most of you guys know, I'm really new to makeup and I'm... It's really hard. I've been practicing so much, but I just seem, can't seem to be getting better. And so, why would you know a newbie like me teach you how to do makeup? You know, I think it's not the essence of teaching someone, but it's just me sharing my joy for learning how to do makeup and my experience in learning how to do makeup because I have a double lid, but it's a really really small lid and before I would always put all the colors on the crease and on the lid just like all the other people with different eye shapes but their lids were much bigger and so whenever I open my, or close my eyes I'm like what happened to the colors and so I've learned to adapt the colors to my eye shape a little bit more but I'm not getting better yet I'm slowly like crawling like a snail just crawling slowly slowly getting a little bit better and then I think that's what I love about makeup is that everyone is different you just have to try to work what's best for you and it brings out like, your inner creativity. You know, before I would never wear green or blue or anything. In college all I knew were browns. But now I can, you know, get out a little bit more from those um, natural colors. And so I hope you enjoy this look. It's just a simple look and thank you for all your support apply your primer because a primer will help to bring the colors out more and it'll help for the colors to last longer but it's just that I don't know where my primer is right now so I'm gonna have to do without my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So the first color that we're gonna choose is this color right here. You can find a similar color, a pink color, or whatever color you like. And so mine will be this light pink color, kind of like fairy tales and candy canes. I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick that color out and I've had some on my um, eyes already well and my face I already put on my foundation so so you're just gonna apply it to the outer lips And then you're going to blend it out. And I always try to do some under here so that I can just mark where the eyeshadow should end. Because I still have a hard time with my eyes. Next, you're going to take another lighter pink color, so I'll be taking this, 
And then um, earlier I said it was just mostly this row, but I forgot I added some of this light purple right here too. So this and this, so I'm going to add some pink and then some light purple. If you like, you can smoke it out and add a darker purple. But for me, I think this is good enough. You can either use this, some flesh tone with some shimmer, or you can use a flesh tone color from Wet n Wild. Right here. And I'll just use this. And you're just going to blend out the colors from your crease and just edit whatever you have to. So you, when you blend it out on the top, it'll bring all the colors together. But before we apply that, I forgot, let's add our eyeliner. Before we add the eyeliner, um, liquid eyeliner, we're going to um, line our upper, our inner, and um, our lower lids and the inner. I forgot the term for it, but it really helps you, your eyes to look bigger because it um, makes um, your eyelashes look thicker and fuller. And you're just going to get a small brush you're gonna, then I'm just going to get the black from here <laughs> and then so start from the outer make like a little tail so you can notice that I am not going only on the top of my lid I'm going to the inner. So if you have a hard time drawing your eyeliner, you can start off with an um, eyeshadow just to kind of give you an outline and then you can trace it over with your um, liquid liner. And when you line the lower lash, it gives you more dimension to your eyes and thicker lashes. And so I have really oily lids, so make sure you apply a potion, a primer potion or something to help the eyes from creasing and getting oily. And, or else you'll have panda eyes like I always used to. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my eyeliner and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I drew my eyeliner and now um, we're gonna add the silver glitter and um, make any changes that we like to make. If, um, I don't know, or yeah, I, I didn't want to put lash glue, so I'm just gonna put some lip gloss pink. Into the lid. Mm, smells good. And then I didn't do this, but make sure if you don't want fall glitter falling on your face, put some um, powder. On some or 